it's Tracy and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about some beauty, beauty, hey, hey. <laughs> I actually, sorry, I'm crazy. I just wanted to share with you some of the new makeup things that I picked up because I know you always ask when you see my pictures on Instagram, you'll always ask like, what is that lipstick color? What is this? So I wanted to share with you so you're not left in the dark. And if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Tracy and I put out brand new fitness, wellness, and lifestyle videos every single week. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Yes, I'm totally serious. Push the button down below and subscribe so that you never miss a video. So uh, I have a couple goodies here. Not There's not a ton of stuff, but I just thought, you know what, you're my peeps and I wanted to share it with you. So we're gonna actually start with a brush. Um, this is, it's so random. I could not believe how much this surprised me, how great, how high quality it was. And it only cost like three bucks or something like that. And this is a blush brush from uh, ELF. So ELF, if you're not familiar with the brand, uh, it's eyes, lip, face, really super, super, super affordable. And their brushes are great. I mean, this feels like an expensive brush. It's, um, this is, like I said, the blush brush. It's great if you contour, which I don't, uh, you know, for doing contour, but it's awesome for blush. And I know it sounds like such a small thing, but I'm telling you, Ladies, if you're needing a new blush brush, you don't have to spend, you know, $25. This is like three bucks or something like that, around that range. So definitely check that out. Um, let's stick with brushes. There is something that I was looking for because um, I, I just knew it was a missing piece in my makeup vocabulary, and that was a fan brush. So I finally found one. Um, this is The brand is not so specific, really. I don't know if I'll even be able to find it because I think I found this at Bed Bath & Beyond here in New York. But um, this is Kala is the brand. Don't know them, don't know anything really about them. But get a fan brush if you don't already have one. And here's why. If you, when you're putting on your makeup and you get that, you know, fall out, like if you're using, like say you're lining your eyes or using a darker shadow, you'll get the eyeshadow on your cheek. You can just kind of fan it off and then you won't get that big smear, which is so annoying, I know. And I don't like doing that whole like concealer and then, you know, blending it in. I like doing everything all at the same time. So get a fan brush. It's awesome. It's also really fantastic for highlighting. So if you've got a good highlighter, you know, it just gives you a light dusting so you're not getting too much product on your face. So, you know, on the high points of your cheeks, like your cheekbones, your nose, and the top of your lip here, the bow of your lip. Awesome, awesome tool and you will love it. So, kind of perfect segue. This one is amazing and sad. <laughs> so let me explain what I mean by that. So this is an eyeshadow from Maybelline, but I purchased it not for eyeshadow, but I wanted it for highlighter. And so, you know, in, in Maybelline, they have those single eyeshadows. So it looks like this. This is the awesome thing. I mean, this product is incredible. I don't know if you can see it, let's see. But it just gives you the best, natural, beautiful, beautiful highlight. I have it on today. I absolutely love it. Here's the sad part. I don't remember the color because when I pulled off the label, the color thing came off as well. But I will tell you this. They're at the top row when you're in the drugstore and you're looking at Maybelline, the top row of products, and they have different colors. This one is sort of like a champagne-y type of color and I love it, it works great on my skin. So, you know, again, rather than going to Sephora or a department store and getting a super, super high-end highlighter, this is the bomb. I think you're gonna love it, so check it out. Um, so now, uh, oh, and then you know where to put it. You're gonna put it on your cheekbones, you know, bridge of your nose, and in the bow of your lip, and it's great. And you could also put it underneath your eyes, which I do that as well. Uh, blush, I've heard about this. I'm not a powder blush person. I haven't changed my blush, seriously, it's embarrassing, probably in years. I just keep buying the, the same one over and over and over, but I kept hearing about it, so I wanted to try it, and that is the Milani Luminoso Blush. This is, OMG, I get it. I totally understand why people talk about it all the time. It's the best color. It's so natural. It's what I have on right now. It really, really reminds me of NARS Orgasm. And it's, again, this is super inexpensive because it's drugstore. I don't know, it's like maybe like $7 or something like that. Um, so great, great product. Makes you look just healthy, a good, healthy flush, and I think that you will love it. Um, Woo, get ready for the holy grail. So now this is, um, I was bored with my eyeshadow because I don't change it up so much. 
and um, I didn't know what to get. And I really don't play around too much, so I got ta -da, this. And this is the best thing ever. For me, these are all my colors. There's not a single color on here that's not gonna look good on me. So this is the Morphe 35K palette. Uh, apparently, I guess, a lot of their palettes sell out really quickly, um, but this is one that is actually available. You can get it on Amazon, I can link it down below, you can get it at their website. It's great, I love it because I can just put it underneath my sink and it's streamlined and I basically have everything. So now I can get rid of a lot of those individual eyeshadows that I have and just use this. I can't wait to play with it and I'll definitely you know, create some good looks for you guys. All the eyeshadow that I have on today is from this palette. I love it, so I think that you might too. So it's Morphe 35K. And then let's talk about lips. So, ooh, this is so, so, so good. Um, so I posted a photo on Instagram the other day and everyone was like, oh my God, what is that lipstick? And it's exactly this and that's what prompted me to do this video. So this is the Rimmel Drugstore, gotta love it. Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Addiction. Mm. So what I do, I love it because it's, you know, you don't have to sharpen it, which is great, because I hate, I hate sharpening things, it's so annoying. So it just kind of squeezes up. It's a fantastic color. I will put some on my hand here. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. It's I love it. So just alone, this is great. It it's, it feels moisturizing. The only caveat about it, it has a weird smell. I don't like how it smells. It smells like paint or something kind of gross. I'll live with it because I do like the color. And then this is this liquid, liquid lipstick. I believe it's new. And I got this also at the drugstore. And this is Milani. And it's called the Amore Matte Lip Cream. And this color is in pretty, which I think is the perfect name for it because it is exactly that, it's so pretty. So what I did today is I lined my lips completely with this and then I put this over it and it's just such a great combination. This alone for me, it's a little bit light. I need, I need it more, yeah, I need the lip liner underneath just for me. If you have a different skin tone, it might work for you, but it's great. It's for a liquid lipstick, it is not, and especially a matte liquid lipstick, it doesn't dry out my lips. I love it, I'm so, so happy with it. In fact, I'm so happy with it, I'm probably gonna get a few other shades because I think it's awesome. So, you know, I think what they were trying to do here is kind of like that Kendall Jenner type situation, getting a, you know, a matte lipstick. The colors are great, there are many, many great colors, so definitely look for this, and this, again, is the shade pretty. So, that's it, I just wanted to share with you some of the new little goodies that I got. Most of the stuff is drugstore stuff because that's just how I am. So I hope that you like it. If you do like these makeup and more lifestyle videos, make sure to definitely give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of good juicy treasures you have found recently. I couldn't say that, juicy treasures. <laughs> and uh, I will see you next week, okay? Bye!